I can see that the last time that funding rates were in the negative, the price of Bitcoin was 93.5. After that, there has been a significant increase in the funding rates. So I'm not being able with this indicator to track negative funding rates, but I'm using an aggregated view of multiple exchanges. Bitcoin Magazine Pro also uses an average, so I'm not sure how they are averaging down or high block capital. Certainly, we've been in an area of negative funding rates. Some exchanges have shown that. If we look at CoinGlass, we can see some exchanges in the negative, some of them in the positive. So it's a mixed bag. I wouldn't say necessarily that right now we are in a huge negative funding rates. It's good to discard that. Fair value gaps to the upside, they are all gone. And I think that is a big news for the day because it took 30 days to consume all of them we started from this point building fair value gaps by the time we were at 74 we have plenty of them to go up so the question is are we gonna just stop there well all we can say is that if now price doesn't enter price exploration in banana so on, on the daily where we could be producing a signal that is also quite strong which is you exit from the top of the range and then you re-enter